sentence. This is a really long sentence. All right, so we've got a really long sentence now, and let's say, uh, you know, we really only need um, 25, 30 characters of the long text. Say it's a subject, you know, for example. So let's go ahead and say shorten text equals, and we need to use the function uh, string split, which is str underscore split. And what you need to enter is the text that you're going to try and split, which is long text, the variable. You put a comma, and you say how many characters you want it to have. So 25. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take uh, the first 25 characters put into a chunk, and the next 25 characters put into a chunk, the third 20, you know, third set of 25 characters put into a chunk, and it's going to return an array. And you can access it, you know, the same way we did above. For the first chunk, you put zero, index zero. Second chunk, one. Third chunk, two, etc. So let's go ahead and just um, put our separator. And we'll go ahead and echo shorten text at index 0 because we want the first 25 characters. So when we come here and save it, you can go ahead and refresh. And there you go. It takes the first 25 characters. Kind of cuts it mid sentence, but there you have it. Now, if we take the, if we place it at index 1, it'll start from, it'll start with this N. Just keep moving on. So there you have it. So that's a nice way to split the string up. All right, last but not least is example six, and this is going to be a search and replace. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, a lot of people use the search and replace function for, um, well, let's say uh, you want to put a smiley face, you know, in your text. You can just search for these characters right here and then replace it with an image, you know, sort to a smiley face on your web page or whatever. So this is. It's a really nice function that can be used. Many things you can use it for, taking out curse words or other certain items. But let's go ahead and start, and we need to have a string to search. So I'm going to call this variable string to search. And let's go ahead and put a sentence. Uh, let's. Uh, I one of my favorite examples on the PHP side is where they put um, uh, a sentence about fruits and vegetables, and then they replace it with um, you know bad items like cookies and candy. So I'm going to go ahead and do something similar. And... Um, Let's go ahead and call this uh, string to search. I love to eat uh, apples, broccoli, and spinach. Okay, now let's go ahead and make our replace replace string. And in this case, we're going to call it an array. Now we're going to look for basically what we're looking to replace. So we need to make an array. You can declare an array by typing in array and then putting the items in there so anything in this array is what it's gonna look to replace so let we don't want we don't want to eat apples or broccoli or spinach so anything that exists in this array later on it's gonna search for a match and try and replace it now we've got our what we're gonna replace it with or what we're looking to replace but now we need to figure out what we're gonna replace it with okay and it needs to be in the same order here so if you find apples, this is what you need to replace apples with. And we'll, we'll go ahead and say uh, candy and cookies and broccoli, or cake, which is going to replace spinach. So if it finds apples, it's going to replace it with candy. If it finds broccoli, it's going to replace it with cookies. If it finds spinach, it's going to replace it with cake, etc. Okay? So now we need to make the replaced string, which is going to be the string after it gets replaced with the replace and the replace with array. So we call the function string replace, and it says, well, what are you looking to replace? Well, we made that right here declared in our replace string. And then it says, well, if you find it, what do you want to replace it with? Well, we already made that too with our replace with array. Okay. And then it said, well, what string am I going to search? So that's our string to search function. Okay, so now this whole replace string right here is going to be replaced with the items that we have declared in the function. So let's go ahead and just echo our separator. 
and we're going to echo our replaced string. Go ahead and save it and upload it. And rather than saying I love to eat apples, broccoli, and spinach, it should replace it with I love to eat candy cookies and cake. So there you go. Replaced it like a charm. This is going to conclude my lesson today on PHP strings. There's many, many more things that you can do with strings and the built-in functions that PHP has, so I strongly encourage that you go check that out. My name is Zach from MyCodeTeacher.com. I'll see you next time.